Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 16th. Just so happens to be 11-11, 88%. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now to come together with your partner, your divine partner, your soulmate. Right now. Eights, go for it. Right now. So yeah, there's a soulmate connection. There's a soulmate connection here. I just happened to look down when I went to push play. Daily Vibes. For tomorrow. Could be for today, though, you know. <laughs> Could be, because the timing is fluid. So what was the, on the date? It probably did say the date, didn't it? Wednesday, May 15th. But... You know, this is, I record these for the next day, but then again, the timing is fluid, so. Yeah, 11-11, soulmate connection, instant manifestation, spiritual awakening, wake-up call. What do we got? Time is now. Get moving. Right now. Change. It's time for a change. Eights. Go for it. Ooh, there's regrets, there's sadness. Grieving. Somebody doesn't realize that there's still an opportunity for love. Hold on, I got something on my fingernail. I just had some uh, cream of broccoli soup. Anyway, I got it. <laughs> Somebody doesn't realize that they still have an opportunity for love. They're focusing on the pain. They're focusing on what has happened. There's some sort of regrets, sadness, grieving. Oh. Somebody's at that crossroads and they have this fear. They have this fear of rejection, perhaps. Very indecisive energy here. Somebody is trying to keep the, keep themselves safe, you know? They're staying in their safe zone. But it's like they, they, ha they, dis they have discovered something, but they don't, they there's fear, they're, you know? Or there's regrets or something like that. Ooh, ooh, and look at these, these two twos, okay? We just saw 11 and 11, then we have these two twos right next to each other. There's a partnership that is suffering. A union, obviously, with 11-11 and these, okay. We got a union that is suffering. We, the, hmm. Somebody's not putting in the effort. Somebody's not putting in effort to commit. Maybe, they're, maybe there's fear of commitment. Maybe there's regrets because they didn't commit. I mean, that could, because this is regrets or sadness. This is not putting in effort, not trying hard enough. Somebody needs to have faith and they need to listen to their inner guide. This is the Hierophant. This is Taurus. Somebody needs to listen. They need to listen. It's like their inner guide is poking them saying, you know, they're thinking about a partnership. They're thinking about a certain person, okay? Probably nonstop, okay? Their inner guide is really poking them. That's what I'm feeling. But they're unable to step forward because of their regrets or their guilt or their fears or their, their, they're not seeing that there's still an opportunity for love. But this is, this is have faith, believe in yourself, listen, listen to what you're hearing. Are you listening? Because you're being told. Somebody may be having regrets for not listening or for not committing, not putting in effort, for giving up on a union. Now they may want to work together. 
Now this is communication, this is teamwork, this is uh, collaboration. Ooh, somebody has lost a love or a friendship. It's like they have. It's like they feel like they have lost this love. They may have involved another person. That could be the regrets. They could be regretting that they involved another person. That's a serious situation right there. So I feel like we have somebody that is definitely regretting losing a connection. Whew. Oh my God! And now, now they want to come out of this darkness, right? They want to. They, it's like they've seen the light, right? They've, they've, they've. They no longer want to be a victim of this circumstance. They may have seen themselves as a victim, and now it's like they've maybe they've received some sort of, you know, epiphany or something that that they aren't a victim. But anyway. Five, five, five. Again, five, five, five. We'll see if we can get some more. Anyway, somebody is feeling lost. They may be. They may want another chance. Okay. This is the end of difficulty coming out of darkness. So somebody may be. Suddenly, because this is this could be a sudden decision. Suddenly, deciding to let go of somebody. This is a loss of a friendship or loss of a love. Let go of a love or let go of a friend or something. There could be, you know, a monkey in the middle. It's like they've seen the light about a partnership, and and it's time for change. It's time to take that step. It's like we, we have this juggler here. We do. This is a juggler. This is somebody who is is playing games while the ships are sailing. You know what I mean? They're going right by. He's like missing the boat, you know, by playing games. And he may be realizing that he has missed a boat. Playing that victim card. Somebody has been lying, and somebody has been dealing with a with a liar, a very tricky individual, a very tricky, deceptive individual. Somebody who is very cunning and crafty. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and they have been feeling lost because they haven't. This is not finding their magic, not using their magic. It's like a loss. Okay, they're feeling the loss within themselves. It's like they've lost their power. They ha they have. They've lost their power. They've lost their mojo because they haven't been listening to their inner guide. Their inner guide is really poking them. They're saying, it's like saying, honor your truth, honor your truth. Take action, do what you gotta do. You have the power, you have the power to get what you want, but you're gonna have to take action. Go do it, right now. Go do it, right now. And I don't know who this reading is for. This is a perfect match. This is a soulmate connection. Somebody is is has discovered or they know, they see that there's a soulmate connection and, and they have to probably make a choice between two. And that's what I see here. Somebody is probably needing to let go of a third party, the monkey in the middle, whether it's a friend or it's a lover or whatever it is, so that they can unite with their soulmate. So somebody is in the process of making a decision right now. They see a love connection. It's been brought together from, brought, brought from above, you know. This is a gift from above. Um, it's a perfect match. It's meant to be. But somebody is going to have to put in effort. They're going to have to put in effort and they're going to have to believe and they're going to have to go in with like blind faith. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. If you feel a soulmate connection, if you know somebody is the one, trust your gut. Go with your gut.
So, I feel like we have an, uh, somebody that isn't in the perfect union right now. And they may be in the process of making a decision to let somebody go. They may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. They come to this realization that it was all a lie. Anyway, let's get the rest of the cards. But somebody's fearful. They're afraid. They're afraid to take a risk. They've invested a lot of time and energy. They have. They've invested a lot of time and energy. And I think now they're really dissatisfied with the current circumstances. You know, they're dissatisfied with their decisions that they have made. They were being, somebody was being unrealistic. And, and it's like now they're afraid. Now they're afraid to start over. They're afraid to come out of hiding. They're afraid to open up. Yeah, we have somebody that is afraid to open up. Oh, somebody was definitely not telling the truth. There's been an injustice here. And somebody may have been dealt some karma because of their lack of integrity for their unjust ways. Because they, you know, they didn't want to be held accountable for their actions because they treated another person unfairly. They lied and they deceived, whatever. They didn't follow their gut, you know. Somebody may have, you know, karma works in mysterious ways. A karma will, will, uh, will mess with your uh, business, they'll mess with your finances, they'll mess with your home life, they'll mess with your possessions and all kinds of things if you are not acting with integrity. They'll hit you where it hurts. Okay, so I feel as though somebody has received some sort of karmic justice in a negative way because they were playing games not putting in effort to go their true path, right? But now I feel like we have somebody that, you know, this is communication coming in. So somebody may be, well, let's see what that is. Making a decision to communicate. Coming out of confusion, oh, they've been suffering. Somebody has really been suffering, feeling a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. And now it's time for a new beginning, right? They've learned a lesson, karmic lesson. Oh my God, through suffering, through pain. Somebody has learned a karmic lesson. They hurt another person. I think that we have somebody here that has hurt another person and now karma has turned their lives upside down. Now they see a person's value. <laughs> I think we have somebody here that is looking for forgiveness. This is this is beautiful. Okay, this is a beaut this whoever this person is, somebody is seeing a person's value and they are regretting. They are regretting investing their time and energy I think in a third party situation. 3 3 3 Now, now they've changed. Threes are about change. Threes are about growth. Here's another three in my hand. Three, 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 three. 
three, 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 your prayers have been heard. Three, 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 your prayers have been heard. So this is, this is a blessing. This is a gift. They may see a person as a gift, as a blessing. She gives birth to a blessing. This is, this is a, I mean, this is unconditional love. She's the goddess of love. But she didn't become the goddess of love without enduring pain, okay? She had to endure pain. She has a lot of life experience. The Empress is typically an older woman who has life experience. She ain't no spring chicken. Life experience made her the Empress. And I think that we have somebody here that is seeing a person's value. They've learned a karmic lesson. They're fearful. They're fearful of stepping forward. But they want a new beginning. And they see that this person is unconditional love. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is the decision is being made. 7-7. Seven, seven. Could be a sudden decision. This could be a sudden decision. That somebody could be making a sudden decision. To take that leap of faith. To, to come out of this darkness and... Oh, this is the past. This is probably somebody from your past. Somebody from your past wants a fresh start, but they're afraid. They're fearful. <laughs> now, this could be a past life connection. And when I say somebody from your past, don't get all your peonies in a bunch. Somebody from the past could be somebody that you knew. How many people do you know? How many people have you been acquainted with? Your acquaintance with? How many people have you worked with? How many people have you flirted with? Somebody that you know is wanting a new beginning with you. Somebody that you know in a it's like you have a connection with them of some sort. You do have a connection with them. You may have already invested some time with them. There could be a previous investment here. This person gave up. They didn't act with integrity. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They were probably abusive. But now it's like they, they may have changed. They, they, they may, they, they're probably going to, you know, whatever. Now they're coming in. They are passionately taking action. So I think that somebody is, is passionately, they're, they're deciding to go. It's like, I've got to go. I, now think later, it's time to go. It's time to go. This, this woman has multiple options. She's the pick of the litter. She doesn't chase. They chase her. So if you are that woman out there chasing men, this ain't you. Sorry to bust your bubble. The Empress doesn't chase. She has enough life experience to know better. And that is the truth. You want me, you come and get me. Somebody's coming to get her. They want a new beginning because she knows her value. She knows her worth. They see her worth. She offers unconditional love. And she can grow anything and she can heal anything. She's the nurturer. She's the mother. But she doesn't settle. She doesn't involve herself in third-party situations. Uh-uh, no way. Wise enough to know better. So I feel like we have somebody here that is regretting their actions. They want to come back, but they're fearful. I don't know who this reading is for. I think there's been some neglect. There's been some abuse. Somebody's been lying. <laughs> Absolutely. Their inner guide has been poking at them and poking at them and poking at them and pushing them and prodding them and the whole nine yards. 
I think somebody's about to take action. Decision is being made to fight for what they want. This is a card of victory. Push everybody else aside. I want what I want. Get. Go. Don't come near me. So this is like somebody saying, you know what? I don't care what you think. Say, push. No. I'm going to take action. I'm making a decision to do what I want. Seven. 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 Over these threes. So seven, seven, seven. And that's a, that's a number from heaven. Heaven is guiding somebody to do the right thing, to take action, to follow their gut, to follow their intuition, and go after the commitment and the partnership and the love that they want. It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time. This is it. It's time. It's time for this rebirth. It's time for this renewal. It's time for this new chapter. So, all I can say is that those five expect the unexpected. Somebody's prayers have been heard with those threes. And heaven is guiding this union with the sevens. There could be a sudden arrival. Somebody just suddenly decides, I've got to go get this. Well, good luck. I hope it's for you. It's probably somebody you already know. Good luck.